Well, I'd like to talk about back to um, a little something that nobody really knows about. It's a Mario and Doom collaboration of sorts. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun for average players. It sure is. It sure is. I want to do something else. Break up the pace of the Kako words a bit. With a non- I don't know if this is a winner. This might be a winner, and if it is, I'm going to have to edit all the videos to be normal again. My computer suffered some damage, and now the screen won't ever shut down its brightness, and it glitches a little bit on startup, which is not a good thing. I might have to send it away, and have it repaired. If that's possible, I sent an email to the people and asked if I need my warranty proof, or if I can just send it over with the order number, because that should verify everything. I gotta say, though, I find it very surprising that Nintendo ever considered working with it, though I think it makes sense. When you think about it, I mean, it's software had a pretty good share in the American market, so having some collaboration wouldn't hurt. You know. Although I do think Nintendo kind of slacked off on their end of the deal. I mean, people always say, we want more Mario 64. Well, this is a Mario 64 game, you just haven't found it yet. Although it follows a very non-standard formula, compared to most uh, Mario games. I do think the updated um, hub area has got something going for it though. Like, uh, sticking with the regular Doom Engine wasn't a terrible idea. What does this require again? I need 12? Oh, that's 12 bit coins. Ooh, I just forgot about that one in my... Uh, So, yeah, as you can see, there's lots of doors. Lots of doors that require lots of souls to open. Mm. So how about we do, um... We'll do two levels today. Look at this nice pool table. Maybe they did a really good job with that. Our first level is Happy Gardens! Every level is a golden soul. We gotta find it. We gotta find it's a good job. That's really all there is to say, really. We may find an orthodox to use a... I can assure you, it's just Mario modernizing to adapt to new audiences, as they call it. Now, you want coins, because you're going to use them to buy things. Because, you know, Doom doesn't have a life system. So they have to adapt the coins to work a little bit better. See, I love how the music gets, the sound gets dampened. Brian Plants had to get a bit of a reskin. Didn't work too well in the art show otherwise. Other than that, your classic Goombas are there too. Though they look a bit, uh... Yeah. Like I said, Nintendo did not really live on their end of the party. That's fine. We'll live. And that's a big coin. Look at that coin. Clearly that's where the budget went. Where most of the budget went at least. I should uh, pay attention, you'll know exactly how to do this. I'm gonna be doing a 100% run, because, you know. Why not go 100%? Why not uh, go all out? Go all in? Go for all the beans. My revolver is just mostly good for long range, long range engagements. It delivers range. Shotgun's pretty accurate, too. Classic Mario weapon. Classic. Ooh. Oh, Mr. Kako. Levels are pretty skimpy when it comes to items, though. Like, you're not gonna be getting many heals. Or not as many as you want. Gotta say that I find it very, uh, very modern that Nintendo decided to go with reloadable weapons too, considering that the original Doom engine was 
Not like that. I find it very impressive that they were willing to give so much of a birth to the crossover. There's also a reason why I'm very upset about my machine breaking down as it did. Um, it says something else on the other side, it doesn't matter. Um, an additional reason I'm a little upset about the way things have worked out is uh, my computer screen has a big smear, and it seems to be entirely because of the heating problems. That the screen has literally roasted itself. I think you've uh, done enough, sir. Thank you. Oh, I forgot, there's a big coin we gotta collect first. Ziggity. Oh, come on, let me in. Let me in, boss. Let me in. Jeez. I don't remember Mario games being this difficult. Also, you usually have pits to be like, haha, you failed, you're a dumbass. But as you can see, Doom has a different design philosophy where it's. God, how? Do I have to jump? Because you normally don't have to jump. There's a ceiling so high. God. I personally appreciate if the Prime Pots were a little bit less tough, because they have way too much help for what they do. If you say, well, this isn't really your typical Mario, that's fair, considering these levels are only played once, but don't worry. We'll be collecting eight red coins before you fully know. Unfortunately, there's one more thing we gotta do before we can well and truly leave. We gotta climb up here. Bring us to an ancient Chinese secret. Nintendo's infamous for those. And now, we can enter a top secret level, but we're gonna do that later. First, I wanna finish off the level. And since this game doesn't support midpoints, it just lets every level as it is. Which is nice. It's a better. It's it's better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> it's so weird that I don't see this game as that often on other people's uh, Mario channels and all. I think a game like this would uh, get some attention. But nope. They kind of. Want to kill him because that guy drops a smack ton of coins if you kill him. Very unbecoming of Nintendo, but I think we all understand that this is Nintendo in a different era. I appreciate the design philosophy that went with them. Like they did a good job. That really feels like a classic. Way to go. Oh, he's over there again. Great. Oh man, the hunt. It's like Bloodborne with the hunt. But we gotta hunt him, because we really need every coin we can get right now. For one, I need to buy a heal. For some reason, they thought it would be really fucking fun if you had to buy all your heals. Oh, look at all these coins. Yeah, that's, uh... It's worth your triple troubles. You get your money back. Although, admittedly, ammo is kind of expensive. It's like a hundred coins for a full. Um, yeah. <sighs> ah, that classic jingle. A lot of people, uh... Yeah. So, like, something they don't want to talk about is that Nintendo didn't just kind of slack off on delivering uh, materials for this uh, game. They also kind of stole a lot of music from it. 
for later purposes, like Mario Galaxy. It's a lawsuit that I think uh, nobody's all too happy with. You can't go back to levels to grind for coins, so you really have to be careful with your resources. It's interesting that they allowed such a resource conservation trick. Now, this level's kind of annoying. Uh, for one, these are basically bullet bill blasters, but they're much more annoying than they are in the regular games. This is hard. Yeah, this is hard. This is the this is the problem. Really racks up that classic Nintendo difficulty. Oh, oh man. Oh no. What did, what did Ten even do? Why are there two quick minutes? So unfortunately for me, uh, you're not supposed to fight this boss until you figure out about this later. But let's give it a shot. Let's see if I can beat the the, the cyber demon using my double barrel shotgun. I like this. You know, a little reference back to the old Doom games. Look, you're fighting the cyber demon. You're fighting way too early. I don't know why this is the first secret level. I wonder if it's even beatable with pure shotgun shells. It's kind of surprising that Nintendo really didn't need this to help them break through the market. Oh wow, the rockets, uh, oh, the systems come over here. Well, I hope he dies soon, because I'm running low on, uh, shells. You know, I should have done my research and homework. Also, if you fall off, yeah, if you fall down, by the way, you're instantly dead. Like, the floor is lava, basically. The classic Nintendo difficulty. And that's a level exit, because once you collect the soul, it's gone! Not like in usual games where... You can pick him up again. Real classic. Real good stuff. I kind of miss the Luigi saying STAR! But hey, whatever. Deja vu, huh? Yep. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great, 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 great. Uh, what's the next level? Oh, this is a great one. Vanilla Hills. So we're gonna collect some red coins, huh? I told you we'd be doing that eventually. Now we're doing it. In the flesh. By you. I've got about you, a little snarky. Snarky jackalope. Now, in this level, the order you want to collect the coins in is a little bit different from what you would expect. The game also, like, this is before they were all like, this is where the star is at. Or at least they didn't do it in this one. I really like how they designed this picture. They put a lot of work in to make the Doom Engine really shine as a Mario game. Now, the AK 47 is not the weapon I would have picked. Considering they want to break into the American market, I would have gone for an M16. You know, Mr. Romero was just a real big fan. Now you get a lot of AK ammo, so be nice and generous with it. It's faster than your shotgun, so you can get a lot of oomph out of it, as they call it. I need to make sure that I collect all the big coins because I forgot to collect a big coin. So I'm gonna have to skip this joint for a moment. Because there's something that they also did in later games that they did here. Where is the final big fresh coin, though? I remember this is the first one, I know that much. Oh, I know where it is. I just remembered. There's a little patch you can go through here. See? Nintendo stole a lot of shit from uh, this game. Like the clapping. When you get a little, woo, he got them all. Very, very surprising. I'm surprised they didn't send a cease and desist to this later down the line, since that seems to be their m modus operandi nowadays. Let's buy some green armor. It'll, it'll keep us safe. Now, I, I guess that they wanted to go with the original hit system, but they couldn't really. There were probably some limitations with the engine they were working with at the time, so they were like, yeah, whatever, we'll, we'll do what we can do, and then we'll see what happens. Welp. Welp, welp, welp. I do feel that they should have adjusted the engine to be a little bit more uh, generous in terms of the slipperiness, because slippery it is. People complain about ice levels, while I complain about doom levels. So eat yourself a hooligan. Or is it called a hoagie? It's called something. And now we get an interesting new enemy. Where are those uh, weird guys in the Mario games that spit upwards? Well, here they are. They're 
just as annoying as they've always been. And now we go into rainbow water, where there's a big coin waiting for us. Uh, the secret levels don't have any coins, to what I know. Every other standard stage just has three red coins. So it follows, uh, again, pretty clear that Nintendo uh, may have uh, taken a couple of cues from this game. Very unbecoming of you, Nintendo. Very unbecoming. Now, you can always just use two shotgun shots if you're a mathematical kind of person. I personally never recommend not going for that big red coin, for that big coin. Um, it's gonna hurt you a lot to pick it up right now. Um, and there's a better way to get it later, namely from up above. Um, the method from up above is much safer, and costs you a lot less in terms of anguish. Like that, that was anguish. That was a big ouchie baba. My face is all... Ooh, man, that burns. Oh! I really need to pay attention to my first vision. I went to a nice restaurant yesterday. Perfect way to accentuate the fact that my computer is busted. It's not bad, it just doesn't change brightness, and that's gonna burn it up even badder. AK is real good for playing out. It's just a good weapon. And like I said, the AK never really wants out too much. Don't worry about that. Over here, there was a red coin. We saw another. See, that's cool, ain't it? As you see a coin, you're like, oh man, I'm gonna get that. And they get it later in the line. Very classic Nintendo design. At least back in those days. You generally see all of them before you See, it's a very good weapon. Cleans up real good. Does, does gets the job done. Um, and now we're going to start part that's not as easy or fun. Oh, here's another red coin. We've got four. I think I'm supposed to have a few more than that. And there's two more I know the location of. That one, and then there's the one that I was talking about earlier. I think it's better forget this one. Yeah, I think it's better forget that. And now comes a little bit of a difficult part. This is um pretty stiff. Now we have the coin, however, we're pretty much... Huh. Okay, I think we're gonna pick up the big coin now. So you want to do this as quick and clean as you can, because you'll probably get hurt otherwise. There we go. We got all the coins, and we managed to collect that thing. Which is really good. It's, it's, it's good. I know, yeah, I have been playing ahead of time. I have been playing Advance. Now, this is a hard jump. As Nintendo does in later games, there's that one jump that's pretty stiff, pretty, uh, one of those, uh, run-enders, where you have to go all the way back. And now I got the Golden Soul, we got three of them now. I think up next is a boss. We could just do it in th that as well. How about we do the boss? I think it's the boss. If it is the boss, let's do him. <laughs> or maybe there's the beach level first. If there's the beach level first, then we'll do that later. Oh, this is the boss, ain't it? Mm, how about we wait with that until later? Yeah. So, um, yeah. Like I said, this is a really good game. Really good. Uh, do I have any army right now? Yes, I have a portal in that kit, but... Uh, I'll hold on to this. I really like the little jingle. Now, we actually have one more soul than we need to, which is why we could access the boss door. And that's pretty cool that you can sort of uh, skip certain levels if you do the bonus levels. Um, we still don't have enough for the big coin door, but next time, we're going to be seeing what's this little... We're probably going to be getting it, because there's two more uh, main stages. So next time, we're going to be collecting more red coins, although this time it's a very open level. It's very, it's very much more reminiscent of the old Super Mario 64 days. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Let me, let's take a sneak peek. Ooh! 